Hello everyone, Crow here, and I got another video game request. Uh, this time it's from Star Blazers 1969. He was he requested to see some Super Street Fighter Two, Super Street Fighter Two, not Turbo, just Super Street Fighter Two. Pop it in, turn it on. Um, now I remember that when this game came out, the uh, Street Fighter crate, Street Fighter Two craze was in full swing. So uh, by this point, me and my friends had had the other Super Nintendo games, and uh, I remember when they came out in the arcade, we used to go to the arcade just to play it, just to see what it was like. It's got a great introduction here. Uh, <laughs> my mom walked in the one time and saw him doing that. It's like, what is he doing, dancing? Looks like he's dancing. <laughs> but um, yeah, so. Uh, see, we had Super Battle versus Battle, Group Battle, Tournament Day Battle, Time Challenge, and Option. We'll just leave everything at default and go with Super Battle. Now, this upgrade to the Street Fighter 2 series introduced those uh, four characters, T-Hawk, Fei Long, DJ, and Kami. Um, all of which I was not particularly fond of, actually. You know, Kami was okay, and so was Fei Long and DJ, but I absolutely hated T-Hawk for some reason. Uh, let's just start off with Ken. Also, this was the first Street Fighter uh, 2 that gave all the characters six different color options. I just realized that now when I gave uh, Ken green. Oh. Ah, okay, there we go. Yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> oh! I don't know what difficulty I'm playing on. I used to be pretty good with the Super Nintendo controller. I kind of, I remember liking, um... Oh, I knew he was going to do a flash kick. Why I jump right into it? Yeah, a bit slower when you compare it to, like, Street Fighter... Street Fighter, um, uh, 4. You know, it's, it's considerably slower. Uh, and that was one of the main complaints about this game, I believe. Uh, the game before this was Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And which sped up the game, and while this game they tweaked the gameplay and added four new characters, they made it slower again. And I think they did that just so they could, um, just so they can come out with another uh, Street Fighter 2, Tur Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and uh, give it faster gameplay. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it is a lot harder to do the moves on this controller than I remember. I do have an arcade stick for the Super Nintendo, but it's a super advantage. And if you've ever seen it, the buttons are laid out like crap. <laughs> I, I don't know what they were thinking with the button layout. You had the four buttons together, and then the L button is all the way on one side, and the R button is all the way on the other side. So it's not really uh, meant for... Uh, not really meant, was there because I think it, it came out with the controller before Street Fighter came out on the Super Nintendo. It's kind of funny when uh, Super Nintendo came out and people were looking at the, ah, can't, why can't I do a fireball here? Yeah, that uh, left shoulder button always gave me a bit of a problem here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm no master at Street Fighter 2, but I have played it enough to. Usually, for me, it's usually uh, just always hitting the hard punch and hard kick. <laughs> Oh, he does have air, uh, hurricane kick. Couldn't remember if that was what it I think by this point they were giving, uh, Ken the, uh, flame, yeah, shuriken. And then, uh, Ryu the more powerful fireball. Oh, I'm losing here. Oh, couldn't get it off! <laughs> you lose! <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Not what I intended to do, but... Take go over there! <laughs> what am I doing out of time? Five minutes. Just 
watching me play Street Fighter 2, unless you already clicked off the video. <laughs> Attack me if you dare, I will crush you! Sounds like, uh, Zangief should be saying that. DJ, one of the uh, characters that was introduced with this game. And returning in Super Street Fighter 4. I gotta wonder if next year that we'll be seeing uh, Super Street Fighter 4 Turbo. Oh, come on, that was supposed to be a Dragon Punch. Oh, that was a Dragon Punch! Oh, so you hate when that kind of crap happens to you. I don't exactly have the best controller on my hand either, but. Voices sound pretty good. I remember when the original Street Fighter 2 came out on Super Nintendo. It was unbelievable. It was I, it was kind of hard to think of anything would top it, but here we here we have it. This one easily tops the first one. I think my personal favorite on the Super Nintendo is uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Eat it. Got ya. Interesting fact: the reason it says uh, maximum on DJ's pants is uh, because you could flip the sprite and it still says maximum. I think they originally wanted to say DJ, but uh, you can't flip that sprite <laughs> and have it still be legible. I thought it was kind of interesting they left it in uh, Street Fighter 4. Super Street Fighter 4. Oh, come on. My ass kicked here. Oh, that was bad. Let's see. Looks like I lost. I'll choose a different character. Who to pick? I am able to choose Balrog. I was. I always like Balrog. What's funny is in the um, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, beating Bison with Balrog was... I, I, it wasn't that hard for me. Zangief too, for some reason. Mike Tyson, I mean Balrog. Lost my headphones. I'm trying to figure out if he has that headbutt move in this game. I think he does. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Headbutt him to death. But of course, nobody actually dies. Might have time enough for one more match. Who's the next opponent? Oh, the car. After I beat up the car. Which is something they brought back in Street Fighter 4. Actually, by this point in the series, I thought this car beat-up stage was gone. Come on. God, come on! Oh! <laughs> oh! I suck. <laughs> anyway, everybody, thanks for watching. See you next time. Joining his niece for lunch. Da 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 da!